Energizing your soul through the inspired word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha by Ellen G. White Welcome to the City of God, November 3, 2020. Memory text is found in Matthew chapter 25, verse 23, and it says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. With unutterable love, Jesus welcomes his faithful ones to the joy of their Lord. The Savior's joy is in seeing in the kingdom of glory the souls that have been saved by his agony and humiliation. And the redeemed will be sharers in his joys as they behold among the blessed those who have been won to Christ through their prayers, their labors, and their loving sacrifice. As they gather about the great white throne, gladness unspeakable will fill their hearts when they behold those whom they have won for Christ and see that one has gained others and they still others all brought into the heaven of rest, there to lay their crowns at Jesus' feet and praise Him through the endless cycles of eternity. As the ransomed ones are welcomed to the city of God, there rings out upon the air an exultant cry of adoration. The two Adams are about to meet. The Son of God is standing with outstretched arms to receive the Father of our race, the being whom He created, who sinned against His Maker, and for who sinned the marks of the crucifixion are born upon the Savior's form. As Adam discerns the prince of the cruel nails, he does not fall upon the bosom of his Lord, but in humiliation cast himself at his feet, crying, Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Tenderly the Savior lifts him up and bids him look once more upon the Eden home from which he has so long been exiled. After his expulsion from Eden, Adam's life on earth was filled with sorrow. Every dying leaf, every victim of sacrifice, every blight upon the fair face of nature, every stain upon man's purity was a fresh reminder of his sin. With patient humility, he bore for nearly a thousand years the penalty of transgression. Faithfully did he repent of his sin and trust in the merits of the promised Savior, and he died in the hope of a resurrection. The Son of God redeemed man's failure and fall, and now, through the work of the atonement, Adam is reinstated in his first dominion. From the book, The Great Controversy, pages 647 to 648. From the Marinetta by Ellen G. White. I encourage you to be a doer of the word, not a hearer only. Marinetta.